Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV Place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and now the news in details. Panic as protesters occupy all of Abuja today. There is palpable tension among Hef City residents over the looming blackhead of major roads serving as gateways into Abuja, the nation's capital city, following today's purported move by youth protesting against police brutality to shut down Abuja as Ash and Sars movement enters into 13th days. I recall that many residents have been subjected to untold nightmarish experiences. In the wake of the continued street demonstrations across the Hep City and other major cities in the country, since it started one day short of two weeks, also the protests and processions have persisted despite the scrapping of the police special anti-robbery squad SARS and the Hep City administration's announcement of ban on street demonstrations and processions in the nation's capital city. However, it was guarded that the mountain panic move was triggered off by the news of the today's planned move to occupy Guawa Expressway Airport Road at CBN headquarters Mararaba. Our correspondents report that activities on Hash Abuja Twitter community one of the social media platform monitored yesterday revealed that the protesters threatened to take Monday morning protests to AYA roundabout. In particularly, the protesters warned that they are going to block the major roads, including Karu, Nyanya, Mararaba, Kachi, and the rest, Ado and the rest. Checks also revealed that these areas are major civil servant groups, hence if they are blocked, will would become very difficult for government workers to get into their respective offices, especially the federal secretariat companies. A commercial bus operators, Uchen Duheke, who expressed serious concern about the development, called on the protesters to trade with caution as their actions could trigger violence in the area. Heke, who resides at Masaka, one of the densely populated settlements along Abuja Kefi Road. The planned blockade would bring more hardship on the poor masses, especially commuters traversing the ever busy route. Another concerned resident who pleaded anonymity said he was still in pains due to the same issues of blocking roads during the protest by the Ash Ensas movement. Not left out, a traffic management expert who reside in Mararaba says, as much as we all support end to security men's brutality, the tactics of the protesters to block major roads across the country and keep motorists and other commuters for hours is a punishment that must be reconsidered. A pregnant woman, sick people, and others in emergency are always on the road. They must change tactics. For now, let us all endure it. Just at the weekend, many residents living in settlements along the Abuja Airport Road were stranded due to the activities of the aggrieved youth that are increasingly growing in popularity with the protest. It was guarded that motorists spent hours in traffic as the protesting youth in their, in their numbers blocked the city gate and the entire airport road, while others who heard of the situation took options of avoiding that access. Well, so viewers, what is your own think about this? What do you think? The reality is that this Nigerian youth that are protesting today, they are not only protesting for themselves alone. That is what I'm. Tr that is what I just want to to be, to be clear of. They are not protesting for themselves alone. And the fact is that every Nigerian must make the sacrifice. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take about this present protest that is going on? What I want us to know is that the youths, 
the Nigerian youth are not protesting for themselves alone. And the reality is that uh, the Nigerian youth are protesting for the safety of the country. And every Nigerian must make sacrifice one way or the other for this protest. Every Nigerian. Because the reality is that nothing, nothing good comes out easily. We have to sacrifice for it to come out easily. Some people cannot be going to work while some, pe some people are doing protest. This is inter indirectly telling us that there's still no unity in Nigeria. When we are supposed to come together and fight this battle together and fight this race together at once, some people are still against this protest. And the fact is that we will suffer some hardship now to evolve in new Nigeria. That is how that is how it goes. It comes with huge sacrifice. Because if we cannot do that, the federal government will take us very lightly. We take us as if we don't know what we are doing. We have to take it more serious and more Nigerians needs to come together, needs to unite together to fight this battle together. And therefore, let no greed of any transporters bring any theories of blockade, bringing more hardship to, to the poor. And that's, that's just the fact about it. Because nothing good comes easily. Any good thing that, we, that you want to be achieved, any good thing that needs to be achieved, needs to come with sacrifice. And that is the sacrifice of today. You know, blockage of road and all that. You know, those are the sacrifice. We all know things going on in the country. It has not been good at all. And we need to fight this battle as, at once. We need to win the race at once. Which I appreciate all the Nigerian youth coming out, sacrificing their time. Sacrificing their money, sacrificing everything they have, just to win this battle. Just to achieve this revolution. God bless Nigeria youth. Kudos to all of them. So guys, kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very, very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. Thank you. Bye.